careful the clutch will put the belt drop but uh, she rips pretty good in my opinion need to get a hitch put on her and she'll be done maybe a pressure washer in about a minute or two but uh the 16 horsepower vanguard v-twin is really holding up pretty good got some dust on it already she she freaking rips man i'll tell you that right now it took me a long time to get her actually working though because the cap on that freaking hinge right there the cap on there i don't know what happened there but uh she rusted out pretty good so I had to get a breaker bar on the axle or not breaker bar cheater pipe on the axle pop her loose a few times spinning around like that a little bit worker free but uh other than that steering's pretty freaking tight though i mean she really you got a crank on her probably worse than a semi truck but you know, pressure washer hopefully no not too much paint comes off but uh gonna turn this into a handbrake if i can get it i think you just freed up give me my handbrake as you see we got lights on the front in the pictures throttles free it's gonna be probably more free than one of my other craftsmen the uh chokes she's done for i gotta buy a new one she's absolutely done parking brake works but uh if you push down on the the old clutch pedal belt kind of doesn't like to stay on too well so i gotta put some more guides on there belt rubs the shifter a little bit but it ain't too bad these tires are about to pop but uh, we'll ignore that for now this whole back panel rusted out well, that don't matter we'll deal with that later transmission's making some funky sounds probably gotta rebuild her but we won't worry about that for now linkages are still freaking tight but worry with them later gonna probably take the muffler off but uh we'll ignore that for now needs a new light bulb the other one on this driver's side is fried popped something blue i don't know but uh the acc runs pretty dang good i mean started to make some funky sounds i who cares that don't matter the uh fuel tanks in the most dangerous spot in the whole mower right above the uh muffler but we'll ignore that for now see it's about to rust out probably leave me falling down but who needs that anyways fuel tank she's yeah she needs to be new one put in her i mean she's she's toast well i don't know she might just clean out pretty good i mean she's just i've never seen transmission fluid that dark so gotta figure that out there's some junk down there. I don't know. We got to get that all cleaned out. Transmission. Somebody either filled us up with transmission fluid last time or... Ah, that's just the fuel. I mean, she's she's not good. Not... Whew. She stinks. But, uh, as you can see, all the mower attachments are freaking seized. Tried to get this thing off. She won't come off. That... Those screws are just, they're done for. They're crunchy. Hey, I could probably get a few more years out of them, but they're crunchy. Other than that, I ain't got much more to do. Reroute the fuel some fuel stuff. Gotta take care of that tank. I don't like fueling it up right here. You only get a good mile out of her. You don't take that that long. She, she drains so fast. The, the tires, like I said, they're about to pop got inner tubes in them but these things ain't gonna hold up very well they rip really well but they're toast thing just about stalls out in fork in sixth gear when you go start her up but that's fine she runs right that's good let me get the belt back on i'll catch you after I get the belt on pretty sure y'all want to see her rip i mean like i said it's mint <laughs> She just 
rips. I mean, you could see it just kicking up that dirt. But, uh, she runs right. Like well, I said, steering may be free up over time. Gotta get this freaking bar off. Other than that, she's, she's meant. I'm keeping her. I mean, her frame's not in good condition, so she wouldn't move well anyways, but I don't know. I'll keep you updated. See ya.